You know, I do love piano book. I remember back when this had like two, three hundred sample packs, if that, on it, and now we're up to one thousand two hundred and fifty-eight, which is absolutely amazing. But there are some rather interesting ones that we come across. Firstly, as I was doing my weekly scroll looking for the creme de la creme of piano book and something to really show off and something that you have to download because it's free. Um, but in my usual scroll, for starters, I just keep seeing this guy everywhere, Carlos. He's from Mexico. It's quite a scary profile picture in all honesty, but look right there, organ grinder, hand rattle, keep scrolling, chicken toy, uh, roast banana street vendor, pet hit. He just keeps showing up. <laughs> but not only that, uh, I'm, I'm sure you've noticed right there, slap bang in the middle, we have pot and onion. And if you were sitting there wondering, what does a pot and onion sound like? Well, it sounds like this. Wonder no more. And before you skip this video, this is not what this video is about. It's actually about this lovely little low whistle uh, that I found once I sifted through the many, many uh, things that we have, many, many sample packs that are appearing on Piano Book. Some great names as well, Heaven and Hell, Orange Soda, Super Flute, interesting. What I do love is that you have this lovely button up here where you can actually sift through it and specifically go, oh, I want winds, choir, string, uh, contact, decent sampler. You can just search something. It's actually a really nice experience. So I know I, I like just kind of looking through the latest stuff, but as I've already said, there's some interesting results. Anyway, low whistle, we're going off topic uh, by plug in and play. They've actually done a couple different things. The katsu didn't quite make it to the cut, although that was an interesting one. If you're looking for a katsu, I don't think that's how, you, I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know, I'm just thinking of katsu curry and now I'm hungry. This is future me editing this video. It's, it's kazoo. I don't know how I forgot this because we've probably all played a mess around with these things as kids and it's rather embarrassing, but I'm gonna keep it in. But just so you know, I do know it's kazoo, and I apologize. I hope you enjoy this lovely Welsh river. River? The river? Let's just get back to the video. Um, but they've done a couple different things. The low whistle has been my favorite uh, of the bunch, and I couldn't help but present it because it's got four different velocity layers, although the expression, eh, I, I kinda wish there was a knob that controlled uh, the sustain velocity or goes through the different layers. I kind of say the opposite with things like labs where I'm like, I want more velocity sensitivity than controlling it by the mod wheel. But I guess both would be handy. In this situation, I really wish I had more control. You'll see when we get into it. But there's two different mic positions. There's a near and far, vibrato, reverb, four velocity layers, lots to go for, nice little UI, uh, made by a guy working from his department, department, apartment in Dublin. So without further ado, let's move on into the Decent Sampler, which is free, totally free. You don't have to pay for anything. The Decent Sampler is free, piano book is free and full of wonders as we have discovered. Um, but this is how it looks, as you might have guessed from the images we've already seen. Beautiful, simple little UI. We've got two octaves. I kind of wish the key switches weren't so close. Uh, when I was messing around, I kept accidentally hitting them. But what's nice is one of the bottom notes is D. I play D major a lot. If you've seen my videos, you've probably noticed. But let's just, out of the box, just have a quick look. There is an overblow button as well right there, kind of hidden almost. But to me, it just feels like more gain. Anyway, three different articulations. If I find the, there we are. Staccato, legato, sustains, more staccato. And the, the, there is a legato somewhere. There it is. Yeah, legato, staccato, and sustains. So out of the box, let's have a little bit of play. The mod wheel actually controls the the, the, the vibrato depth. Um, otherwise, I said I wish, as you'll see, for more control over different velocity layers. But let's just do a demo out of the box. How does it sound? Let's have at it. 
uh, with the legato patch. Very, very sensitive, and before you run away, you can still make beautiful music out of this. It just takes a little bit of practice. I am just a Joe blog performer, so I try my best, but as you can see, that really light, you'll get that light, but, and really hard, you'll really have that kind of overblown sound. I'm wondering if I turn that off. Interesting. So if we have the overblow, you kind of get like a top layer. Hmm, that's kind of nice. Just kind of with the D. But yeah, it'd be nice to have a little bit more control because it is very sensitive. But with the sustains, you can have a little bit more fun. The vibrato doesn't sound natural at all. It really is quite an artificial vibrato. But it does the job, I guess. Personally, I will probably keep that turned off. And the expression doesn't seem to do anything, sadly. You're just going to have to be a little bit more fiddly with your MIDI to try and get the right velocity layers instead of having it a little bit over the place, which is kind of how I'm playing. But let's look at these different mic positions. We've got near and far. Let's just listen to the near. And far. Maybe we should just... That's the near. Mm, slight difference. I'm not getting a huge amount of difference there. There's definitely near. A little bit of distance on it, but not a huge amount. If I just stick a ton of reverb on with a little bit of far. Maybe a tax sustain uh, decay release would have been nice with this. And we, we do have a tone wheel to kind of fine tune it a little bit. Um, it is what it is, I guess. But we haven't actually tried the staccatos yet, which I think is actually one of the selling points of this product because they are very good, actually. So let me just take the all this stuff off and just show you what I mean. Not a good example, bit of reverb. Staccatos. <laughs> Although what's nice is you can still kind of recreate that with the legatos. 
but you do have that natural staccato sound that sound naturally coming off. But staccatos would have been nice because they are quite long staccatos. Although saying that, that actually sounds pretty good. You still have a nice little off of the sound and this nice sharp pingy. There we go, that's a better example, really showing off this instrument. And mix this in with something from your own DAW, and you'll have a lovely instrument. You've got quite a bit of loudness, I guess, uh, to this instrument. And with the reverb, you can really bring it a bit further away. The natural sound is very close, although the reverb really gives it that nice tail, making it sound a little bit more natural. But for somebody in their apartment in Dubai, can we really complain? It's free, it's fun, and with a little bit of tweaking in your DAW and getting used to the velocity layers, I really think you can make something quite beautiful out of this. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I've hoped you've enjoyed this video. This has been the Low Whistle by Plugin and Play. As always, thank you uh, for your support, and we'll see you in the next video.